What's up, gang? This is John from Kobe Motors once again. And before we get into it, I'd like to thank everybody out there who uh, like and subscribe to my channel. And if you are new to the channel or you just haven't hit that red button yet, please hit that subscribe button and get the notification bell clicked as well so that you will be up to date and notified on all the new videos coming up from Kobe Motors. Now, of course, we like to bring you the best info for electric motion what's new and what's um what's happening with the company and what's coming up and today is no different we are going to be reviewing the new video that came out from electric motion just today about the e pure comp now this 2024 model has a lot of features as you may have seen on the video but we're going to review the video first and then we're going to slow it down and break it apart and pick at it and look at what is new in slow motion and we're going to talk about all the little details that you may have missed or you saw but you want to talk about it a little bit more and that's coming up for you right now All right, gang, now that video is pretty sick, right? But what it did it was to give you a real, real brief shot of the bike. And it's made to be a mystery, right? It's, of course. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it slow. We're gonna slow this guy down. We're gonna do some screenshots. And we're gonna take a look at what we can see from this short, short video with its little pauses and stuff, um, the difference the main differences between the 24 comp and all the rest of the bikes even the current 23s if you know what you're looking at like i do if you're familiar with these bikes you can probably tell where i'm going to go with this so let's get to this next picture now this is just a closer up view of gael uh the electric motion rider who has brought this bike to a championship winning and the electric trial uh class look at this bike it's just beautiful they went pretty simple with the battery uh, design putting the EM on it um, not too flashy like the previous ones uh, frame design looks to be the same still got the tech forks in the front um, right off the bat that rotor guard looks a little different and we'll get into that a little bit later but with the 2024 there's some big upgrades coming um, and not only in power but you know tunability and that is the one thing that a lot of EM riders have been uh, wanting for so long. But as you will see in the next slide, that is all about to change. And this, right, guys, is the big deal, right? So as we can see, they have this new app called EM Connect. So it's available now. So I'm going to go look at it myself. But basically what it gives you the option as what I'm seeing in this view is that it's giving you the map option modes. Now, we all know that EM has a three mode map, the green, the blue, and the red. And per this picture right here that I can see, you have map one, you have map two, and you have map three. And what is possible is you can tune the maps 
individually to your liking. So as we were just learning how to ride in green, blue and red and whatever it's set at, uh, I'm sure you can probably click this button here and go back to stock settings, but you can now tune each map individually for throttle reactivity, power, speed, and of course the TKO. You can turn the TKO on and off. Now, I'm not exactly sure if that means that you can only turn the TKO on and off via the app or if they still have the manual switch, which would actually be nice to just do on the fly without having to go into the app. Um, you know, but uh, the TKO can be adjusted as well. And I believe these parameters here are to adjust the TKO in itself. Now you have, uh, that is your parameters here for your, uh, you know, your adjustments. Uh, they have this. I'm not exactly sure what that is for. They didn't talk about it or show anything too much of going into this icon, but that may be for um, the battery monitoring. Now this is speculation, but that may be for the battery monitoring. Um, this possibly looks like, I've seen this before in other apps, uh, similar to like a Torot app. This will plug you into a network and you can hopefully connect to uh, diagnostic chains or whatever to send information via the network. And then of course, your uh, diagnostic uh, looking, you know, you got the screw and the wrench here. So that usually indicates some sort of diagnostics. If you have an error code, if your bike is not working, uh, you know, you could probably go on the app and it should be able to tell you what is the issue and hopefully uh, also a remedy to go ahead and fix it yourself. Now, I wanna stay on this slide forever because there's so many things. Um, and you can see here that map two is selected and then in the next slide, map one is selected. The TKO seems to be on at this point and looks like in this picture here you can see the idle speed and the idle torque now that's kind of interesting because um i you know i never really thought about how you would adjust that because on a gas bike you know your idle is set by your carb and you can adjust that too if you want so this right here is kind of like turning your uh, idle screw on your carb i mean this is pretty amazing that they actually took that into consideration speed and torque for the TKO not simply just on and off they're letting you go further and further down into the tunability of the bike and of course this is really all centered around trials riding and that is why uh, the bike is so advanced for what it is but it is a trials specific bike now you know and I know we are gonna use it for enduro off-road Hawaiian style trails whatever we can and trials is the forefront of I mean, of what this bike was designed for but i guarantee you I, or i promise you we will tell you how it is in the uh, off-road scene okay now moving on to the next slide and i want to go back to this slide so much because i love it so much but how do we get to this app and it seems like that right there is your window into the app guessing everything has an individual code it's it's probably via Bluetooth that it's going to automatically connect to your individual bike. Um, and yeah, I mean, like everything else, like every other controller out there on the market today, uh, you know, you can go on the Bluetooth and you can do whatever you want. And that has become very, very helpful for not only teaching uh, beginner riders to ride, which is so important, you know, killing the power. You can turn this thing down, make it real, not as sensitive. and and someone that's not nearly as advanced as this bike is can jump on and you know have fun and learn not just be afraid of the bike not trying to fight the bike but learn with the bike next picture here which is basically nothing really changed as far as the uh, transmission and the gear drive you got your little comp logo there your standard bash plate and as you can see in this corner uh, i'm not I'm not guaranteeing, but most likely this is the Ryger shock. Now, is it the Ryger three-way or the Ryger two-way? I am not too sure. It would be awesome if it was the three-way because the three-way versus the two-way is, tunability is vastly different. 
Now this picture is pretty simple. Um, you know, there's not too much different. With the comp, you always get the cool S3 uh, accessories. Uh, in another picture, you had the S3 uh, Hard Rock pegs that come stock with the comp, 428 chain. Um, I believe the sprocket looks to be and will probably still be a 57 tooth sprocket. And of course, the new comp logo. I see a nice 24 here in the corner which is kind of cool going with the red and black and dark dark navy blue uh i hope this is matte i really really like the matte look um it kind of looks matte it doesn't look too shiny no, hard to tell but we'll see when we get one now this photo is a little different because to me it looks like this thing is metal like of course now it says em it's branded em which is different from the the previous uh rotor guard the previous rotor guard was of course obviously plastic and it was more of a generic uh guard you know but it did the job it did its deflection and you know help keep the rotor safe in crashes but this new one seems to be metal and it's the way that it's it looks like it's potted metal with um you know painted black so it has these little scratch marks like I said, if it's if it's plastic, that's totally fine. The plastic one has been doing just great. Uh, but if it is metal, that'll be pretty cool. Haha. And now we got into this. I know you guys paused the video on this. I know you did because everyone wants to complain about the battery meter. Battery meter sucks. This and that. This and that. Well, you asked for it, and now you got it. This is the upgraded battery meter for the EM. And I want to say it is quite fancy. That thing looks like a little smartwatch screen uh, molded into some foam. So, I mean, cool looking, probably very, very intuitive. I mean, we see here, you know, of course, your maps tell you map one, map two. Uh, I'm guessing this is your speedometer for uh, kilometers per hour, miles per hour, whatever you want. It looks like this triangle will light up when your TKO is activated to let you know and of course your battery meter in percentage here on the left hand side i can't figure out what quite this is here it's ar something i don't have a good angle from it so i can only speculate what that is drop a comment in the uh, comment box if you think you know what it is and we'll see if you're right uh that's pretty much it right now guys i'm just gonna stay on this photo for a while because actually you know what i'm gonna go back to the previous photo i'm gonna go back to this photo i like this this is cool um will will it be able for download now later um will it be available for the other models who knows i'm not quite sure i wish i could answer for that that to you guys right now but time will tell and we will definitely be keeping you up to date on the new and exciting things coming from em that's what we at Kawila motors are here for please if you like the content that i put out for electric motion please like and subscribe uh, your views and your comments and everything you you guys are interested about the bike really help me uh, for the algorithm and stuff like that and I, I really appreciate everyone taking the time to check out this video and i hope that all this stuff keeps you on the forefront of what em is doing at the moment and i uh, can't wait for the 24s to come out so with that guys thank you once again please ride with aloha and until next time we'll see you again aloha